Hey there, welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, I will explain how to create partitions in Linux with fdisk command. fdisk command is a powerful command line tool that allows you to create, modify and delete partitions on your Linux system. Before we start, ensure you have the following things in place. A running Linux system, root privileges or sudo user with admin rights, basic understanding of disk and partitions. I have attached 12 GB raw disk on my Linux system. I will be using this disk to create two partitions of size 5 GB and will format them with extended 4 and XFS file system respectively. Let's get started. First step is to identify the newly attached raw disk. For that we can run the command sudo fdisk hyphen L. If you see the output carefully, we have two disks slash dev sda and slash dev slash sdb. sda is of 30 GB which already has the partitions and we have sdb2 of size 12 GB and this disk doesn't have any partitions. So we will be using this sdb2 which is a raw disk. Alternate way to verify this disk, run the command lsblk. In the output, I can see there is a disk sda which has two partitions sda1, sda2, and we have one more disk with the name sdb of size 12 GB and it doesn't have any partitions. So this confirms that this is our newly attached raw disk of size 12 GB. So we will be using this disk to create partitions on it. In order to create partitions on the target disk that is slash dev slash sdb, we need to run the command sudo fdisk followed by the disk name sdp hit enter it will take us to the fdisk interactive menu if you type m here we will get the help in order to create a new partition type n here and hit enter it will prompt you to enter the partition type first four partitions on any disk are considered as primary partitions so type E here, partition number will be 1, enter, hit enter to accept the default first sector. In the last sector, specify the size of your partition. Let us say I want to give a size 5 GB, so type plus 5 G and hit enter. Output confirms that it has created a partition of type Linux of size 5 GB and partition number is 1. By default, fdisk command creates a partition of type Linux. If you want to change this partition type, you need to change the toggle ID for that partition. For that, you need to type T here and hit enter. Type L. So this is the toggle ID for Linux partition type. If you want to change the toggle ID, just type the number here. Let us say you want to set it as swap. So type 82 here and hit enter. In my case, I do not want to change the partition type. So I want this partition as, as Linux. So type 83 here. Now create our second partition, type N. Again. P for primary partition. This would be our second partition. Accept the first sector as default 1. And the last sector specify the size for your partition. Say 5G again. All right. In order to write these changes to the disk, we need to type W and hit enter. This output confirms that partition table has been altered. Let's verify whether the new partitions are visible under the disk slash dev slash sdb. For that, run the command 
to do f disk hyphen l slash dev slash sdb as you can see we have two partitions slash dev slash sdb1 and sdb2 of type linux and whose toggle id is 83 size is 5g to use these partitions we have to format these partitions I will format first partition with X standard 4 file system and second one with XFS file system. Then the command to do MKFS. MKFS is the command to format the partitions. MKFS.ext4 slash dev slash sdb1. Similarly, format the second partition. This time its type would be xfs output of both the commands confirms that sdb1 has been formatted successfully with the type extended 4 file system and sdb2 has been successfully formatted with the xfs file system next create the mount point for these partitions so i am creating slash opt slash data1 as a mount point for sdb1 and slash opt data2 as a mount point for sdb2 to do mkdir pt data1 now run the mount command to mount this partition In this this is the partition number so on this disk sdb1 is the partition number and this is the mount point so this partition will be mounted on this mount point hit enter similarly mount the second partition sdb2 on data2 now run the df command in the output you can see sdb1 is successfully mounted on slash opt slash data1 whose file system type is extended for size is 5 gb similarly sdb2 is mounted on opt slash data2 whose file system type is xfs size is 5 gb in order to mount these partitions on these mount points we must add these partitions entries in the slash etc slash fstep file something like this so this is the partition name this is the mount point for this partition the file system type for this partition so in this case it is extended for and then defaults 0 space 0 similarly add the entry for sdb2 partition in this case file system type is xfs save and close the file now run to do mount hyphen a Now, even if this a Linux system gets rebooted, these partitions will be automatically mounted on these mount points. That's all from this video tutorial. I hope you have found it useful and informative. Please do like the video, subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials like this. See you in the next video. Bye.